Hi, this is Bob from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. And if you're looking for an online tough book community that gives tips, tricks, and support, hit that subscribe and the bell button for notifications for all our newest upcoming videos. Today, I'll be going through a short walkthrough of your Panasonic Toughbook CF31, so stay tuned. So today, what I want to do for you guys is take you through the Panasonic Toughbook CF31, and we talk a little bit about general stuff on this laptop, anything that you need to see that's in more detail. I did make a top 10 features of this laptop video. I also did a top five issues with this laptop. But today I'm just gonna kind of bring you through everything that I know about the CF31 and what you can expect when you get it. So from us, basically, you get a standard configuration. Uh, they're nice and clean, no scratches, no dents, no broken parts. Um, the mouse is gonna be nice and clean and clear. The keyboard's always gonna be nice. Now let's talk about the keyboard a little bit because you guys know that I like keyboards. This particular unit that I have sitting here is an MK4, CF31 MK4. It has a backlit chiclet keyboard that I really like. The nice thing about this keyboard is that it has this plastic covering between the keys that keeps the dirt and the grime and all that from getting underneath them so they last, they don't get sticky. That's one thing I like about this keyboard. Uh, the unit itself is well made. I mean, I don't, you know, the CF31 is the flagship, so I don't have to go into you how it's built like a tank. Uh, it has all the necessary ports that you would come to expect. I mean, we got the power port, USB ports. Uh, you know, we have a couple here, a USB 2.0 and a USB 3.0. Uh, it also has a uh, NIC port. And this one happens to be HDMI for an external monitor. And then of course on the back, if you push this button, you know, slide this switch back here. And if I could just get it to open, we would be golden. So if you open this door here, you'll see that we have your audio jacks, you know, for your microphone, your headphones, SVGA monitor for that older style monitor, docking station jack right there with two more USB ports. And this little device here, which is your uh, uh, dual pass through connector. So if you were to plug it into a docking station, like this, this is a uh, CF31 docking station, have us. So this docking station on the dual pass-through, what that means is there would be two connectors for external antennas. So you could have a Wi-Fi antenna and a GPS antenna mounted on the roof of your vehicle if you were driving around. That's what that dual pass-through does. It transfers the antennas to the car. Uh, so that's a, a really handy feature. The um, unit also comes with the nine pin serial port. So what would that be used for? Uh, ham radio operators use it. Uh, auto mechanics sometimes need that nine pin and they need it built on because the USB adapter just is not reliable uh, like they need it to be to get the data off of the equipment they're testing. Uh, this thing also has a um, multi-bay port that you can put CD-ROM drive in, you can put a secondary battery, things like that. And then in there also is, of course, your SD card slot, and you have your PCMCI Type 2 slot with your Express card slot. That's where those go. Uh, if you decided to upgrade to a webcam, it would go over here, and then the, the, the wires would run down into the screen, and hey, it's not something that, if you're pretty mechanically inclined, you can easily install a webcam. Uh, that's about all I got for the CF31. I mean, it is the flagship and it is built like a rock. I'd love to hear your comments though, and what you think about the CF31. Maybe as even compared to other laptops. I encourage you to watch all of our other videos on the 31 to get more detailed into like screen uh, video cards and that sort of thing. All right. That's all I got for you today. I'll see you next week. <laughs>